going to a fire alarm right now. It sounds like there's smoke inside. Okay, keep your hands out of your pockets. Hey. I'm gonna put you in handcuffs if you don't get your hand out of your pockets. Come on! Damn it! Hello, hey, I'm Officer Holder Wilson well, PD. So right now you're gonna be placed under arrest for that, for field dumping, okay? We are going to what the reporting party believes might be a drug deal uh, up in the northwest part of town here. It's going to be southbound on 6th Ave. Not 100% sure this is the vehicle, but that's an oak. 3213. Hello. Can I help you? Yeah, just got to talk to you real quick, okay? So somebody called in and said you were at a house over... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. my aunt is actually yep. squatting at my fiance's... Okay, so that's what's going on? Memphis. We're trying to get her out of there, Okay, yes. so somebody just thought it was suspicious and wanted us to check it out, okay. Did you need any assistance with this squatting issue? Do you... Uh, not yet, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure we will, though. Okay. So, no drugs, nothing like that. Apparently this lady's fiance's grandfather owns the house, and she was just there to... Just uh, kind of speak to her aunt who's squatting there. As far as everything goes with this call, it's all civil at this moment in time. Not a whole lot we can do for them. Uh, it sounds like they kind of know where they're at and how they're going to handle the situation for now. So that is that. We'll be on East Bridge at 5th Street. Hello. Hey, I'm Officer Holder. What's up, PD? Hey, the reason why I'm stopping you is you're driving without no lights on. Oh. Yeah, it's about that time oh, where they need yeah, to start I'm, coming on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm getting new to I'm, I haven't had this vehicle for super long, and sometimes when I get out, my leg hits it from auto to off. Gotcha. I am so sorry. Hey, it happens. Do you have your ID on you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Where are you guys coming from tonight? Uh, we just got done at the gym. Okay, fair enough. Where you go? Uh, I just... Yeah, Frank's gym? Frank's. I know a lot of people that go there. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, I'll be right back with you, okay? Yeah, of course. All right. So, um, it's twilight now. Um, street lights are coming on, so it's about the time people need to start turning on their headlights. Um, it's dark enough. This vehicle is probably un too unsafe to be driving without headlights, so that's why I stopped them. And I'm just running their info, and making sure they're good to go. I'll probably give them a written, written warning just so it's documented. I just have a written warning here for the headlights, okay? So no fines or fees associated with it, just documenting the stop, okay? okay. Yeah, just uh, a good rule of thumb is whenever the street lights come on, just, uh, that's, yeah, a good thing to have your headlights on, okay? Sounds good, thank you. Any questions for me? Uh, no. All right, you're good to go, drive safe. Two thirteen traffic, Alabama twenty eight, just in front of Holiday gas station. Hello, Officer Stark, Waspedi. I'm stopping you today because your tail lights are pretty busted up back there. Yeah, I I just left. With, I had a job. And okay. I bagged into the tree. Sure. And then knocked it out. Okay. Yes, sir. Was that I, I'm not from here. Do can you take me somewhere I can go to get? these the tail to get them fixed yeah absolutely there's uh, actually an auto parts store right down the road do you have your driver's license with you i i don't you don't i, okay. I don't have my, are you at least a valid driver uh, uh no i don't have my uh my drive license they got suspended i just paid my okay. money i just haven't been back to mobile to get them sure so you're you don't have a license through wisconsin through alabama yeah no okay here's what i'm gonna do for you i'm gonna be up front and honest okay okay I'm gonna issue you a citation for not operating with a license. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you a warning for the taillights. Okay. And then I'll get you on your way, okay? All right, no problem. So I will be back with you, and then as long as you have the insurance, I'll come back up and take a look at it, okay? Okay. Both his taillights are completely busted out and showing white towards the rear of the vehicle. Uh, he's from Alabama, doesn't have a valid license out of there, Wisconsin, or any U.S. state. So I already informed him he'll get a citation for operating without a license and warnings for the taillights as of now. Aside from that, completely cooperative, um, respectful, so good stop all in all.
written warning for the taillights, okay? Make sure you get those fixed, okay. obviously, at some point. And then the citation for operating without a license, okay? Okay. Non-mandatory court date, however, if you're stopped again for it and you're issued another citation, you'll have to go to court for that one. Okay. Uh, um, this one, you just have to pay a fine, $124, estimated three points off your license. So I'll have to have you up pull into the parking lot since we're off the roadway now. Uh, um, and then, you know, obviously, if you choose to drive on the roadways after this, you're taking that risk. Aside from that, do you have any further questions for me? Nope, that's it. All right, so have you up pull into the driveways off right. of these frontage roads then, okay? No problem. All right, have a good night, sir. Thank you. to a fire alarm right now it sounds like there's smoke inside and the female who lives there is getting her kids out of the house as we're on our way is this your guys' house right here yeah i'm right here at the, the house that one okay it, i didn't smell burnt but i i didn't smell anything burning but i did see smoke so a lot of smoke building up or is no, it just it hazy like, or it was like hazy it okay. almost it almost seemed like steam with smoke sure My name is Hunter Stark. I've been a police officer since May 21st, 2021. It kind of all kick-started with the TV show Alaska State Troopers when I was younger. I guess you could say I'm only 22 now, but it feels like so long ago. Um, I think that kind of started hooking my interest and as I got older and whatnot and started looking into the profession and um, just kind of doing ride-alongs and getting familiar with how law enforcement works. I, there, there's always something new every day. Uh, there's a million different ways to handle the same situation. I, I like the fact that I, I kind of have to work through what I'm doing each time. Um, even if it's the same thing that I've done 20 different times, you know, one time could be the time you have to handle it a different way. And I, I kind of like that aspect of the job. You know, I do, I really enjoy the job. I, I think it is everything I expected it to be and more. It's. You know, if I didn't have bills to pay, I honestly wouldn't even remember I'm being paid while I'm at work. So it's, uh, you know, when I was going through schooling and whatnot, there was no plan B or no backup plan for me. This was, this was it. And it was to the point where, you know, if it didn't work out, it was going to be, well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So it worked out and I'm, I'm glad it did. I really enjoy the job. So I think we have really good uh, community partnerships and backing from our community trusted to uh, you know do our job in the way that the public expects us to do it. I, I like the community aspect that WASA itself as a department puts out there and how involved we are with the community and I think that really shows when we need the public's help in different investigations and whatnot. Hey guys, what's going on? Okay. Do any of y'all work here? No. We okay. Ice cream, okay. But they're closed now? Yeah. They just closed. They gotcha. shut the lights off right as oh. you were coming up. Okay. Yeah. I still have my ice cream. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, I was just wondering, like, if this is, like, some sort of, like, car meetup or, like, yeah. at 11 o'clock at night? You know, it's a Friday. It's Fair kind of enough. It's never too late for car enthusiasts. Yeah. Right? Fair <laughs> enough. All right. Uh, you need your car unlocked? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your ID on you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's just some sort of car meetup. Um, that was the manager I just spoke to there. She is okay with them being here, so that's no issue for us. However, these other people over here um, are locked out of their car, so we're gonna help them out with that. Hi, PD. No way. Yeah! All right, so this is our liability waiver. Essentially, it's giving me permission to unlock the vehicle for you, uh, and then the, we're not responsible if there's any damages or anything. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, perfect. Thank you. 
Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Yeah, of course. Uh, you guys need anything else? No. All right. All, All right. Have a safe Thank night. You. Take care. <laughs> oh, okay. What's going on? This girl downstairs, she's going to come banging on my stairs window right here. Like, she's crazy. Banging, banging, banging. And I'm like, what the hell? Who's that? So I open the door. She, like, walks, like, into my house. I'm like, get the f out of my house. Like, I don't touch her nothing. Like, mm -hmm. and then um, she's like, I'm turn that mother like down my uncle and i'm like like i can't even understand really i can't because okay, he can't can get you correct me this is an argument between you and yeah i'm just telling now. you like how they are but I... no i'm just i'm just trying to because yeah. we got a lot I'm of information sorry. so yeah. did anybody get pushed no. or anything okay why why would they be telling us that uh i don't know the same i don't know and do you want me to bring you the the, the radio the little radio that we were no that's to? okay I and, and so like you. so like these apartments like they're the walls are so thin i mean it's friday though at the end of the day right if it's at a respectable level because then because i can the, you be know. really petty too and i can call on every little thing so. that they can do hi i'm officer ashenbrenner what is going on tonight i have neighbors that are playing music after 12 o'clock at night okay where's your niece that was involved in this she took off somewhere. She left? Yeah. Why'd she leave? She's pissed off. Well, yeah, but so is the other tenant. She's also pissed off because they got into it briefly. And she said that, she, that the other tenant put her hands on her, and the other tenant said that your niece walked into her apartment unwelcomed. So it was, it was both back and forth, so we can't say whose story is true because we don't even have the other side of the story. I told her just go to the door, knock on the door kindly. Yeah, apparently that's not what happened. Her. So no. I understand she's angry. I understand your niece is angry. You're angry. Everybody's angry. So instead of then talking to each other, just call I, us because that's I, what I, we're I gonna do. Be on my bathroom wall. Well, and that's what you call us for. That's no. what we're here for. Because you guys are gonna get heated with each other, and we don't want that. Because well, otherwise, I, somebody's I gonna go to jail. I, I know where I'm from. You took care of yourself. Well, that doesn't happen up here. There's nothing else we can do. We don't know about these issues unless somebody tells us. Okay. When your niece comes back, you need to tell her to knock it off, too, because at the rate she's going with her running away, she's the one looking more guilty here. All right. Well, I'll let got, you get back I've to got, the rest I've of your got, night, okay? I've got, I've got ideas. Bury them up to here. Well, we're not doing that either. That's illegal. Okay. Good night. You treat people the way you want to be treated, and I would yeah. never go not bang on somebody's door like that and yell. Is, and is there any way that she could have misconstrued that she got pushed down the steps or anything? Yeah. Did she fall she, at all? No. Just... Keep the music off at least for the rest of the night, okay? No, off. It, it, it would keep it would help us out. Okay. Or down. Or down. It also keep in mind it is 1.39 yeah. in the morning. I know. But just this turn it off like... for the night. Yeah. Remember, you're in an apartment building. Yeah. And it's just being respectful of your neighbors oh, yeah. too. I know they're not being respectful of oh, you yeah. either. But also somebody has to be the bigger person right. to start yeah. You guys yeah. have a great night. Y'all too. Take, Take care. Off. Thank you. Traffic. Okay, you can open up the door. Hello, hey, I'm Officer Holder, what's up, PD? The reason why I'm stopping you is you didn't stop for that flashing red light back there. Oh, I'm really, I'm sorry. Is there any reason for that? No, I'm, I, I've just, my friend, I'm going to pick him up at 101 Pub. And okay. He was trying to call and I was trying to hang it up because I didn't want to talk on the phone. Sure. Okay. Do you have your ID on you, sir? This is an ID. Do you have a valid driver's license? No, I don't. Okay. Are you suspended, revoked, or? Uh, I don't know which one it is. It's one of the two. Okay. I'm going to ask, have you been drinking anything tonight? No, sir. Okay. All right, sir. I'll be right back with you. Just go in and stay in the vehicle for me, okay? okay. You can shut your door if you want. All right, so I stopped this vehicle. I uh, didn't stop for the flashing red traffic signals at 3rd Ave and West Bridge. Um, he, he told me that he was um, looking at his phone um, to go pick up a friend from a bar. Um, he also doesn't have a valid driver's license, so we'll be addressing that issue with him. No concerns of impairment though right now. So he is um, operating after revocation and he has couple open cases which by operating while we revoked he is in violation of those court orders hey, 
Hey, can you step out here with me real quick? So I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, you're operating after revocation, okay? So that's a crime. You got a couple other couple other open cases. One's for possession of methamphetamine, okay? So that's, that's a felony bail jumping, okay? So right now you're gonna be placed under arrest for that, for bail jumping, okay? Your phone for me so you don't drop, okay? Let me do two cuffs because that way it'd be a, more, a little more comfortable on you, okay? So operating after revocation is, is a oh, crime, correct. Because you committed the new crime, you committed the bail jumping. That's hardly bail jumping. I mean, you, you committed another things. crime while you're on a bond. Is there anything, anything in the vehicle that we need to be aware of? No. Okay. I'm gonna have you. Uh, I'm gonna search you real quick. You said you got paper spray and a, and a jackknife on you. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna be searching your vehicle after a canine alerted on it. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So have a seat. I'm gonna watch your head. I don't know why the dog would alert. Okay. I'm not the canine handler. But he advised me that it alerted on the vehicle. But there was nothing on them, like they're wet. See that? Yeah. Did you see these pills, Peace? I opened them. Okay. I didn't, I didn't look at them yet, no. Okay. He's got a thing of uh, aspirin in here. Yeah. They look similar, but why are those ones like wet with all that? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that looks weird. It looks like they got wet and everything's like worn off them. Yeah. So I, I can't tell what they are. I'd Mirandize him and ask him about it. Yeah, like, yeah I mean, he's he won't say anything, but no. yeah, I'll give it a shot. What'd you find? All right, so I'm gonna read you something real quick. I'm gonna read you your rights, and then... Uh, What'd you find? I'll, I'll let you know. So, um, you have the right to remain silent. With that being said, are you willing to answer some questions for me? No. Okay, thank you. What'd you find? I know there was nothing in there. Okay. So let me get this straight. Run it, uh, failure to stop at the red light. Mm-hmm turns into a felony bail jumping uh operating after revocation okay but, but that's the, the light, connection but the red light yeah that's that, the connection that will be the ad that and will that be addressed as well felony bail jumping i didn't make you drive okay that's a hell of an excuse you guys are, you guys are oh you guys are dumb sorry you feel that way hey what's up pd one male one car 206 23 county So we got a call that things were getting a little rowdy over here. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. I mean, I'm the only one here bartending. Yeah. And my license, and it just like all of a sudden got, I mean, I got slammed. I okay. went from dead to busy as can be. Nobody's fighting, everybody's having a good time. Okay. So, okay, no fighting, everybody's okay yeah. then? Okay. Yeah, everything's great, I mean. All right, thanks, we'll get out of your hair. You your name? Holder, yep. All right, thanks. I know you were here before. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> Take care. Is that a mule? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, they're good, man. <laughs> hey, if I ever see him, we gotta get one. <laughs> yeah, you gotta slow it down going through the parking lot. You're coming through here way too fast. But you gotta be careful with the driving coming through here because you very easily could have just smoked someone with your car. Hey, there are houses here. Doing that. Doing that. Doing that. Okay. Thanks. Hello. Hey, I'm Officer Holder, Wausau Police Department. Can I open up this door for it real quick? What are you doing out here in the park? Okay. So, uh, unfortunately, you can't be sleeping in the park. Are you living out of your car? Yeah, okay. That happens. Um, have you tried the Salvation Army at all? No. No? They might actually have a bed for you. It might be a little more comfortable than sleeping across two seats. So, I mean, did you did you drive here and just park? Yeah, but I drove here. Okay. I mean, I'm not looking to get you in trouble or anything. I know you're, you're in a tough spot right now. I mean, and you're right. You shouldn't be driving a suspended license, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything about that right now, okay? Um, what, what is your plan in the long term? Stay here till the end of the month and then I'm heading over to Hudson. I'm not, I'm not going to kick you out. I'm not going to make you drive away from here, especially on a suspended license, okay? But I, I think you need a better plan for 
all month, okay? So like I said, I'm not gonna, not gonna hit me up tonight about it, but tomorrow I think you need to find a more solid plan, okay? Is there anything I can do for you tonight? <laughs> Fair enough. I'll be checking by throughout the night, okay? Um, and then tomorrow just find some, find a better plan, okay? Okay. All right, I'm gonna close this door. I don't wanna catch your foot there. Hey! How you doing? Good, how you doing? We're doing excellent. I'm also confident that you lost the slip. Yeah. over because the registration lamp lights are defective on your van. So the lights that illuminate your back license plate. Okay. okay. We just got to be able to see it, that's all. Okay. okay. Where understand. are you guys coming from? Uh, we're coming from um, uh, a friend's. We had dinner and we're going to go sing some karaoke at the LTP. Okay. Do you have an idea on your improved insurance uh, by yep. chance? All right, sit tight for me, okay? okay. Thanks. Um, I was going to ask you, what are the registration lights? The lights? The lights yeah. illuminate your license plate. Do right. yeah. you have any weapons on you? No. Can I pat you down quick? Sure. Okay. Nothing on you? No, no nothing. Take your hand out of your pocket for me. Okay. I just got my keys. Okay. okay. Come back here yep. for me. You're on, you're on probation, dude, right? No, I'm off of probation. You're off? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How many how many drinks do you have in here? Um, nothing. Nothing? No. I've had none. No, no, we haven't drank anything. We ate, and we were going to go have a couple of beers and sing okay. karaoke. Is that a is that a pot pipe in your pocket? No. Nothing. No. Another pocket? No. What is it? I don't have a pipe. Fe it felt it felt like a pipe. No, I do not have a pipe. What's that? What's that noise? That think? That's my cash. Oh, hold on. No, that's not cash, dude. Yeah. No. So here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Yeah. I'm, this isn't my first day, but mm -hmm. your eyes are glassy. Okay. You're. Mm -hmm. No, I don't smoke. You, you, you have dry mouth. You're, you're, it just appears as if you're, you're slightly under the influence of something. Well, I mean, okay. I'm, we I'm had what, what did we have? I had a. Did you we, drink or not? We had a sip. Okay. It's right in there, and I didn't. So it's I in, took it's one in sip. there. I have a sip of yeah. I had a little bit of. Uh, we mixed it at my buddy's house, okay. and we were going to the LT club. It's sitting right there. Okay. Then can I search you quick? Sure. Sure. Your hands on your pockets. Okay. I do have a pocket. lighter. Okay, keep your hands out of your pockets, dude. Hey. I'm gonna put you in handcuffs if you don't get your hand out of your pockets. Come on! Damn it! Oh, I'm not good for it. Right now. Yeah. I got I got hand, I got hand. Stay in the car! Stay in the Stay car! Stay in the car! Okay, okay. Damn it! Get in the car. Okay, okay. Take the car like the ass of you. Okay, I will, I will. Stop or you're gonna get tased. Okay, I'm not doing anything. Quit you fighting, guys? dude. Hey, he whipped the pipe over there. Where? It's under the car. No. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Okay. You can check me. I have nothing. I don't, do, I don't do that. I don't do that. Yeah, you guys. It was just... You better tell him because I don't do any of that. Yeah, he does guys. not do anything. Are you hurt at all? No, I'm not. All right. No, I'm good. Yep. Yes, One, two, yep. three. Ouch! Okay, gotcha. Right. He's going to jail. We're going to do fields first. Right here. It's a meth pipe. Oh, perfect. You can just have a seat right here, okay? okay. That's it. I'll okay. help you sit down. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Stay right here. Yeah. Stay over here. Alright, I'm gonna take you out of handcuffs. You okay. gonna be cooperative? Yes, I am. Keep your hand in front of you and don't okay. make any motion toward me. Okay, no problem. Obviously, you're in handcuffs for what we all had going on there. Yeah. Just to keep this clean, I'm going to read you your constitutional rights. Okay? Yeah. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Yes, I do. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to me? Yes. Okay. This, this did not even have to go this far at yeah. all. Are you high or are you drunk? Um, not, neither. Neither? I'm just um, burnt out. You're bur from burnt what? Burnt out from what? work. And Okay, yeah. so you got dry mouth, glassy eyes, okay, you were slightly lethargic, I, I stop cars every day, yeah. all time, okay, we can tell yeah. when something's yeah. up, man, Yeah. okay, so is it the meth pipe I found in your pocket, were you smoking, like how recently did you smoke? Um, I took a puff of that, and then I... Did you have some alcohol? Uh, I took a sip of alcohol. Okay, do you smoke meth all the time? 
Um, not all the time, no. Okay. Your occasional meth smokers? That's occasional. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I've just, it's been a tough week. Are you on probation still? Um, no. You're not at all? Not at all. John, you willing to check that out? Thank you for watching our newest edition of Virtual Patrol. We had a lot of fun doing this one. We hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, give us some ideas for new videos, like maybe me taking this awesome police bike around town for a little bit. Again, we enjoy doing these. Please give us ideas. We look forward to bringing you our next video.